Hello there, here's another quick tutorial to get this gorgeous introductory traveling from a single image in less than 5 real minutes. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, and now let's go. Okay, let's start from scratch with Blender. Even the default cube is already gone, ha ha ha. To process your image, you will need automatic 11.11 installed, and a specific extension that you can find. It's called Depth Map Script. Once installed, you get an additional tab called Depth. Add your image, it could be realist or cartoony like this one. You will need to set up exactly like this to make it work correctly later on. Model must be Zoe Depth underscore K for images of outdoor sceneries. Boost must be turned off. Clip and normalize will help with the final depth. Now click Generate Simple 3D Mesh and do not remove occluded edges. They will greatly help. Click on Generate and wait a few seconds. I have a 3060 NVIDIA card, so you can see it's pretty fast. Don't download the 3D mesh from here, it's far too long. Simply import it into Blender from your temp folder. The mesh is quickly imported as a blown gray matter. Don't worry, it's totally normal. The default camera must be adjusted, simply set everything to zero, then rotate it on X minus 90 degrees and on Y 180 degrees. Now we can see something through it, but it's not so great for now. Let's fix the colors. In the shading workspace, add a material with an emission shader and a color attribute node. Now when you see from the camera, it looks exactly like your image, great. If you play with the strength of the node, you can see that it works exactly as if it was a global light. So we only need to add keyframes for this strength. For this, add a panel, then switch it to the timeline. Night. Light. First day is done. Now, with the camera movement, remember the ugly view of the camera, select the camera and simply change the shading from solid to material. Grab it on the Z-axis with GZ until you reach in great position. Insert a keyframe for location here. Now, jump to frame 200 and grab the camera down using G then Z on your keyboard. Insert another keyframe, and boom, it's already great. Let's add some depth of field for good measure and blurred depth artifacts when the camera is up. In the camera properties, activate depth of field. Play with it to find near and far distances. Insert keyframes and play. done. Hope you like this very much. Please subscribe and see you soon.